What's up, Dragalicious? My name is Lydia. Yeah, I'm gonna do. And today we're gonna be. Yeah, we're taking a look at the Starship SN5 uh, test, 150 meter test. So, uh, in Boca Chica, Boca Chica, Texas, Texas, and they're super excited because this is uh, a momentous occasion if they can get this giant cylinder in the air, this like uh, wheat silo. Kind of, yeah, a little bit. It does look like a bit like a wheat silo. So, so, if you guys don't know which one this is, this is the Starship. This is the one that will eventually go to Mars. Yes. So, so uh, the Space Dads have successfully come back. Yes, so, that was Raptor. Uh, no, Dragon. That was Dragon, sorry. There's so many names, they're all confusing. Raptor is the name of the engine that is on Starship here. There are three engines in the final configuration, but here there's only going to be one. So it is slightly off center, which means that the rocket, if it flies, will fly diagonally. Hmm. That being said, you're talking about Dragon. Dragon is the, uh, pod that returned August 2nd, two days ago, with Bob and Doug successfully returning okay. <laughs> to, uh, well, Florida, right? Yeah. Anyways, guys, let's just hop into this video, I think. Lydia, is that cool? Yeah, yeah absolutely. We're good. I All mean, right. Fingers crossed it goes well. I mean, because like this, getting this right is just another step. This is like one of the major, major steps. This is their fifth build of the Starship, uh, well, the prototype because it right? went a little crunchy last time yeah they've um, had multiple catastrophes right but i mean they are building these in rapid succession yeah the first one i think was only last year and then the second one was like in january or february and so on so they're on their fifth revision and they're doing a different approach to building this they're doing rapid development which is you know, like what that. you would normally do in software dev, right? They call it, what do they call it? Oh. It's on the fly, isn't it? Oh, there's a specific word for it though. Uh, oh, I forget. Anyways. It's kind of better because like NASA takes their time with everything, but like SpaceX is like, let's go, let's go. Okay, they're just like, work. they okay, literally to... have dudes who used to like weld water towers down there welding the rocket together, That's right? Cool. So they're, it's so crazy and mind blowing because it's like they don't have like these like super like you know like qualified engineers welding the the rockets. They're just like you know how to weld, you're in. Get in, get in, get down. Anyways, let's just jump into the video. I'm sorry Woo! I talk so long. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, water tower. <laughs> <laughs> the flying water tower. You can see that it's it's uh, venting something. Yeah, there. yeah getting ready to uh oh oh here we go here come we go on, come on <laughs> it's going yeah it's flying barely but it's happening oh it's, my it's God. doing it's doing it it's doing it it's wow. like star hopper from last year what? oh it's so crazy That's gotta be good. Let's see. That's gotta be good. We're good. The smoke's it's clearing. Quiet. It's gotta be good. Where is it? Show me. Oh my god. I don't. I, I don't see anything. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, there it is, right here, right there, right there. What? It's standing. It's She's standing. Right. Yes. yes! <laughs> oh, that's wicked. It's still upright. That's that so freaking cool. <laughs> Everyone's like cheering and stuff. Wow. That's wicked. Wow. It looks like it might be a propellant leak at the launch stand. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Elon Musk. God bless you, sir. Yes, that this is man well. is like single handedly just being like, all right, let's Save get our money. shit together. Yeah. That's pretty the cool. Space, the whole space, uh, you know, flight. Let's get our shit together. It's been like, you know. Fine. 
I'll carry this whole planet. Yeah, I'll carry the, you know, the electronic cars. I'll yeah. carry that and just wow. load it on. Wow. Wow. Great job. Great job, Elon. Great job, everyone. The whole team SpaceX. at SpaceX deserves yeah. a lot of respect for getting that giant canister up in the air. It's so awkward to see in the sky, right? It's because it's, like, it's not painted. Yeah. It's not, uh, well, you know. Fancy looking. Yeah, well. No cone. You're used to seeing maybe Falcon. Yeah. And Falcon's got like the SpaceX logo yeah. and it's painted white with yeah. like black stripes yeah. and it's looks true. very pretty. This is just like, yo, we <laughs> we welded some water towers together and slapped an engine on it. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> really though, the I, I'm joking when I say the water towers thing. Obviously, they've put a lot of research and work into yeah. this to be able to make something that big fly because yes. that is going to be what gets people to the moon yeah and then eventually to mars yeah right so big big deal yeah being able to pull this off because that means they're one step closer to getting uh well those next objectives right yeah now uh i know if you actually look right here here is star hopper mm -hmm. right that was the one from last year which was their very first test mm -hmm. right where they flew it up in the air and came back yeah and then a year later almost exact to the day they have a new prototype that they've flown up and brought back safely mm. right so that's really freaking cool yeah guys like it might not seem like much but you gotta think like like just the the computational like the math going on there to yeah. to put a freaking cylinder up in the sky kind of a big deal. and this is not like a skinny little rocket this is it's this a big is boy. huge it's like is, a titanic yeah and it didn't like flip or anything or it went up it went over and it landed successfully proving that uh, obviously their concept is going to work. Yeah. Right. So is this paved or is it did it land on grass? Like I don't actually it? know. I think they landed on grass. I mean, because like you're not gonna have a beautiful like paved place when you like. I land think on that's the whole planet. point is that the testing, they're launching from a launch pad. Yeah. yeah. They are. Of course. But they want to be able to land on any surface. More like terrain, right? Right? Yeah. Like either, obviously they need to scout out their landing place in advance. They yeah. can't just land anywhere because you could land on a cliff and like tip off <laughs> yeah. or something. True, but, true. But uh, they want to like be able to land like on a, on a rough surface. Yeah, right? makes sense. Uh, a reasonably rough surface. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that looks super cool. Yeah. I'm very excited to see that because that's one step closer to Starship flying in space, right? Yay. And uh, at the Boca Chica, I don't know what they want to call it, base, center, or whatever. Uh, I don't know what it is, to be honest with you, but they've Compact. also uh, been erecting a new building to start yes. constructing the lower section, yes. which is like the, I don't know what they're calling it. I think they're calling it Falcon Super Heavy. Because you know there's Falcon Heavy, which is three Falcon 9s strapped together. Mm -hmm. And they're going to put what is going to be Starship on top of Falcon Super Heavy in order to get this monstrosity to space, wow. right? And then um, if you guys have seen the recorded uh, the animation, that CG animation from like a two years back, I think, they're going to the concept at least is for Falcon Super Heavy to get it to orbit, for it to continue to orbit around Earth. Super Heavy's gonna return, get a second uh, ship that's just carrying fuel and bring that up, refuel uh, yeah. Starship so that it can obviously tra traverse to the moon and beyond. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So really cool guys. I hope you were excited. I hope our reaction was uh, good? I think it was. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome. Get that I'm, water tower to the moon. <laughs> get that big bucket of bolts in the sky. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. What's the, what's the line from Futurama? I don't remember. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, remember the guys, the guys like get that yes, bucket yes. of bolts in the sky yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. Anyways, Lydia, you could just wrap us up for now because we've rambled on long enough. Okay, guys. Um, I mean, obviously we're super excited about it. How do you feel about the Starship successfully hopping? Let us know. Did you uh, think it was going to break? Did you have no problems 
about it whatsoever. You're like, Elon's got this. Let us know in the comments below. What did you think? Um, are you excited to traverse space in a water tower? <laughs> I mean, it could be cool. Better than a rubber duck. Anyways, guys, uh, let us know in the comments below uh, what do you think. And uh, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Give us a like and a share. Likes are very important for our channel. It's like it's a tiny channel exposure. And we need your help to defeat, you know, people Gra going gravity. too slow. Yeah, and gravity. So, like your stuff. <laughs> if you want to follow us on Twitter, our handle is YouDarkDelicious. We also stream live weekly on Twitch. Our handle is Super underscore Delicious. And don't forget to join our Discord. Link's in the description. All right, it's been Lydia. Yeah, I'm kidding you. And some fun darkening out with you. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, this is Lydia. If you like what you see, hit that like button as it helps our channel gain exposure. Also consider smashing subscribe. If you like our content, it would really mean a lot and helps our channel grow. If you want to interact with us, leave a comment down below or follow us on Twitch at super underscore dorkalicious. We'll see you next time.